Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. <clears throat> I know it's been some time since I last uploaded, but I finally have figured out a, lot, a good amount of stuff. I'm trying to set a schedule my, for myself. Um, I will be doing weekly uploads now every Friday. Um, it might change a little bit. Um, cause I'm gonna be uploading some Dokkan gameplay, and since the 7th anniversary is just right around the corner, pretty much today, tomorrow, at least, uh, um, I wanna do some summon videos for that, but I wanted to come back and do a concept video for Saiyan Day that I had this year, cause I made it before Broly came out, no, Majin Vegeta came out. And my idea was a uh, Bardock, similar to the Ginyu Force that came out with Dokkan Fest Ginyu and the two banner units. I wanted Sande to be Bardock and Team Bardock with, you know, the banner units. I'm only going to be doing uh, Bardock and the Pachu Ala that I made. I didn't make the banner units, but this was my idea. And what I wanted for Sande, but we got Majin Vegeta. I'm hoping that my idea will come to fruition. If anything, I at least want the character. I, you know, obviously the kit I designed or gave him isn't gonna happen. But as long as I get this character, I will be happy. So, kicking it right off, you know, it's an exchange into Bardock. Uh, for, it's Bardock, parentheses, Team Bardock, and then exchanges just into Bardock, and ignore my dog. Um, I make them a physical, not really anything in particular about that, I just thought they'd be nice to have as a physical unit. The stats, defense, uh, at, above average, um, pretty high, almost... Uh, pretty much 11,000, you know, if you put some equips in, you could get you 12,000, which is good. Attack is low, only 15,000, but their HP is 17,000. And the reason why I gave them the low attack stat is because I was, because I was trying to do it like Ginyu, I was taking a lot of inspiration from Ginyu. And his attack stat, Rainbow, is only, this is Rainbow, by the way. But Ginyu's attack star rainbow, no equips, um, it's only 14,000, or above 14,000, so one of the lower attack stats on the Dokkan Fest, but, I mean, we all know Ginyu, he's, he's insane, <laughs> he, he's doing crazy attacks anyway. So moving on, we have the leader skill, I made him the, them the leader of All Out Struggle and Pure Saiyan, R170, and then... A 200% for low-class warriors. Now, All Out Struggle, I feel, needs a new leader. And because the Team Bardock uh, units don't have too many categories, um, I, I'm pretty sure they all are, they are all on All Out Struggle. I haven't... I had, I made this for a while, so I need to double check. But even if not, you know, Pure San is there. Bardock is. And Low Class Warrior, that's only there just because, you know, they, the Bardock units, Team Bardock units are only gonna be on Low Class Warrior for 200%. Coco! <laughs> oh my dog. Um. But yeah, just so the other banner units can get the 200% and everything, I made them give the 30% to um, Low Class Warrior. So moving on, we have the Super Attack uh, effects. I made them get Greatly raises Attack and Defense for 3 turns, you know, Immense, Normal. And then Seal Super Attacks, because, you know, Dokkan likes to give Bardock that Sealing ability. Um, if anything, you can probably take that out. Since it's Team Bardock at the moment, and then, you know, I keep it on when he's exchanged, spoiler alert. But there's that. And then, coming down, we have the passive. Spoiler for that. 
So, Planetary Conkles, they have an entrance animation. My idea for what the entrance animation would be is I'm when Bardock, at the midway point of the special, when Bardock lands on the planet, comes out the pod, it's the um, it's SSR off for L.R. Bardock. That scene right there, that's what I think the entrance animation could be for it. And with that, the, he, the, you know, would get a high chance to dodge for the rest of the battle, as long as there's another Team Bardock ally on the team, because, you know, it's Team Bardock. Then we have the attack and defense, 150%. It's pretty standard. And then I made them support for Super Class. Super Class allies, 3 key. Attack and defense, 30%. And then this... Um, when it comes to my design philosophy when I create fan-made cards, I like to keep things accurate to the character and how they were shown in the show. And so because, you know, you have just a group of Sands fighting against an entire planet species, you know, they're going up against multiple enemies, so the idea is they get damage reduction for existing enemies, so say... You're on Super Battle World and those five enemies. They're going to have 40% damage reduction. And, you know, as you defeat each enemy, it's going to go down. But personally, I like that just because I'm a sucker for keeping things accurate to the show. Then they also gain an additional attack and defense 8%. Poor Pure Saiyan or Team Bardock category on the team. And they also guard all attacks when there are two or more Team Bardock category allies on the team. So, the additional attack and defense, it's there just so they, they're getting more than just the 150. And you look at the 8% and you might think, oh, it's only 8% for like the total of 6 characters or 7 on the team. But, uh, it's, it's I it tend... The intent to behind it is I'm making them, uh, that part of the past would be like LR, Kale, and Khalifa, where every character that is on those two categories gets that 8%. So like, this, say we got um, LR Bardock on the team, you know, he's on Pure Saiyan and Team Bardock, so he's giving this unit 16% attack and defense more. So that applies to everyone else. And I separated this part into its own little section because it just made the passive way too long. I'm giving this unit a revive because I think he's perfect to have one considering this, what happens in the special. So his revive condition is... If there is at least two or more Team Bardock category allies on the team, he will rise with 60% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. So unlike with uh, LR Future Gohan, who he needs to die to get the revive off, you know, it's him and the team or anyone on the rotation needs to die, uh, just like the your 6 LRs. And the... Condition for two or more Team Bardock allies, that's it. So, if you ha if you fulfill that condition, there's no other. So, you can literally die turn one and get this off. But, um, I gave him a secondary condition. Well, if, he, if his HP is 40% or below at the start of the character's attacking turn... Um, as long as he receives six or more attacks, then you can do the revive as well. Just in case you're using him on a team where you don't have the luxury of using the other Team Bardock units. And I also gave him another special something. Um, also taking inspiration from the special. Um, if you fulfill the secondary condition... Uh, he gets the ability to will when you activate it and he's able to get the revive off. Any super attack that's happening in the Chorn is going to be directed on this character. So, 
in that case, you know, this, I made it, well, this character is guaranteed to die as long as you fulfill that secondary condition. Because, you know, my inspiration for that, again, is taking it from the special where Bardock dies at the end of Frieza and, you know, just, that that's pretty much it. He was the, re- Frieza directed the attack at Bardock. You know, he was the one who was meant to die in that. So, that's my idea behind that ability. So, you revive into Bada. And moving on, we got the Leak set. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Sand Warrior Waste, Prepared for Battle, Sand Lineage, Sand Pride, Team Bada, Experience Fighters, Fierce Battle. Self-explanatory, Fierce Battle, everyone has it. Experience Fighters, there's Bardock's with it. You know, the uh, Warrior Waste, he's fought many battles. You know, he should have it. Team Bardock, Sand Prime, Lineage. Yeah, everything. That, it's all self-explanatory. And moving on uh, to categories, we got Team Bardock, Pure Sand, Low Class Warrior, Space Traveling Warrior, Storied Figures, Goku, Goku's Family, All Out Struggle, Entrusted Will, and Connected Hope. Moving on to Bardock, the Bardock portion of this, <clears throat> pardon me, the final spirit cannon greatly raises attack, so he's stacking greatly. He also gets the ability to guard all attacks for three charms, and he still is able to seal the enemy. So I moved the guard in the past, uh, when pre-chain, pre-exchange from where as long as you have two, they guard to the super attack, because I also, I want the units to be able to do unique things and have different, I guess you could say play styles, but I just think it, I feel like every unit should also have a drawback or something, you know, not every unit needs to be god, well, it's Delcon. Happy God is great, but I I feel like no unit should ever be perfect. You know, even the new Trunks and Vegeta LR on JP, they still have the inherent flaw where they only guard in slot one. So if you put if you're forced into a situation like you're fighting Red Zone Bojack, he locks them in uh, slot three. You know, they're not guarding. And they may, they, the type advantage, so, you know, they should still be fine with all the stacking they did and stuff. But, you know, that's just one example. You know, since they guard, you know, you, feel, you would feel comfortable taking them somewhere else. But in first phase of Omega, you know, they lock and seal if they get, well, you know, they got for the first five charms. <laughs> you get the, what I'm trying to say. They still have a flaw built into them. So my I just wanted Bardock to have guard just so for the super attack just so he can have that something like that. I don't want units to just be given stuff, I guess you could say. I I think I think it's fine. It's for three chorns, so he'll be fine. Moving on, we got part of the passive this is on half of it. Uh, attack and defense, 180%, uh, power to change free, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 40% when performing the super attack. And then he keeps the support, but it changes from super class to all allies. And that's because, you know, in the special, he's telling everyone in the freezer, he's telling Freezer, you know, they all quit, even though they might not feel the same. He is saying that everyone quits, they're free. So that's my idea behind making it all allies. And then he gets super effective against all types, but only when he's launching the super attack. And then he has a <clears throat> built-in additional that has a high chance to become a super. Then he also he gets he keeps the damage reduction, but instead of it being poor enemy, I just changed it to straight up 40%. And even though it, it's more reasonable for him to have the poor enemy damage reduction since, you know, he's a one-man army going up against the Freezer Force. I just felt giving him... It's the exchange part. Just giving him the 40% is whatever. And then this is where it keeps in the same idea where he's a one-man army. 
he launches an additional attack for existing enemy. So again, say you're on Super Battle World, you have five enemies. He's gonna launch five additional normal attacks on top of his Super, on top of the other one that has a high chance of becoming the Super, and then you still got the hidden potential system. <clears throat> so what? That's eight attacks this Bardock can do. And now, granted, those attacks are only going to be normal attacks. And that's also why I gave him super effective only on his super attack. Just so it wouldn't be, you know, too much. Even though people would say, you know, oh, just give it to him like that and make him more strong. As I said, I want people. I want these units to have their own separate stuff. Or their own limits as well. And then he's keeping the enemy super attacks will target this character. Instead of it being limited to just the revive now, he keeps that. So now, say you have him on rotation, um, UI Goku, or something, and God Vegeta. I don't know, some random rotation like that. You don't have to worry about Goku not dodging and getting you killed. You don't have to worry about God Vegeta not guarding and getting you killed. You Even if you can't see the super attack, you know that if there is, this character is going to eat it. And then he also launches a guaranteed super when there's a wicked bloodline, freezer force, or planetary destruction category. Those are self-explanatory. Like I said, I made this up for Saiyan Day, and we'll get into the Freezer Force category in part 2. But yeah, he also has an active skill, which can be activated right, at, right after you exchange into Bardock. And this gives him a permanent attack and defense plus 18%, and gives him the ability to foresee enemy super attacks. So you're, he's getting the scout and then an extra 18 attack, percent attack and defense for the rest of the battle. And you get that as soon as you get the revive off. So with that, I, that's why I feel comfortable thinking him eating the super attack would be good because you still have the guard. Yes, it's for three turns, but you know, because he's going to have the scout you know, you can play around it. And then his links unchanged. Bardock is infinitely better and healed and team Bardock. And I know it's going to be hard. You could say having two on the team can be a little detriment. Especially against Red Zone Broly where he cancels dodge. But I think at the same time they'll still be able to hold their own. Just not well. Like, having two on the team wouldn't be bad because the, they're still supporting. I'll be only super class. They're still offering support, so they're good for a floater. Because, you know, you can only get the revive off once. And then, I do also have the animations I picked out. The we'll play it. Uh, it might be cut off on the screen a little bit. Let's, oops. Let's move this. We'll just play it um, in a miniature view. Uh, can I keep this at the bottom? There we go. Yeah. So, this is gonna be the Exchange Revive animation. Uh, let me actually zoom that up. It's cut off, but I bear with it. Apologies. Oh, wait. Wait, I'm stupid. Right there. At least you can see it more. So, this is the Revive animation. You know, he finds everyone dead. Holding Tor in his arms, and then he takes the bandana, puts it on, and it ends right there. That's the animation. And then this right here is the active skill. Um, him giving the speech to Frieza, saying they quit and everything. Um, that's the active. And then it's going to end right there, him just charging his uh, key blast. And then this is his uh, super attack animation right here. So you have him charging, going in for the punch. Dude, I love that shot so much. It's so cool. Um, obviously, if they're not going to keep it all the same like this. Ends right there. Him charging and then obviously throwing it. So those are his animations for Bardock. And that's the unit as a whole. Um, moving on, we have the my idea for the Pachu LR. 
being a force form freezer from the special as well. Here his stats right here, 20,000 HP, 21,000 attack, 15,000 defense. Now this freezer, um, well, I'll talk about it when we, when we get there. His leader skill, I wanted him to introduce the freezer force category. And they don't do this with yellow coin LRs, but because he's also introducing such a limited category, I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Um, Freezer Force and Wicked Bloodline, 4 key, 170 across the board. Self-explanatory. I hope they do that. They should do it, especially with Ginyu Force. But they, at this point, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Moving on, we have his 12 key, where he raises attack and defense with 3 turns, causes colossal damage to enemy, and lowers attack. And he also, I also gave him the nullify special actions for one turn. Moving on, we have the 18 key. He greatly raises defense and raises attack for three turns. So it's a 50% to defense, but still only 30% to attack. Um, and he also greatly lowers attack and defense. Now, before I continue, the nullify is supposed to be 18. So keep that in Keep that in mind when you're looking at it. The nullify is on the 18, but those are his super effect, super attack effects. And the reason why I gave him the nullification is also because you know he just destroyed the entire planet. He quite his little the supernova quite literally just absorbed Bardock's key blast. It nullified it pretty much. So what it it fits, you know. Moving on to the passive. Now, this is really short compared to Bardock, you might see. But at the same time, I think it's good enough because of what he does. So he's getting three key attack plus 50% and defense plus 150 at the start of the turn. Then he gets an additional attack 150% and defense 50% when performing a super attack. And while Bardock, Team Bardock supports Super Class, I gave this Frieza Extreme Class Ally support of 3 key and 30%. Frieza also has Unconditional Guard. And this is where I think the Frieza gets really good. Because I think it, it just fits him. I gave him the ability to nullify enemy melee based super attacks unconditionally. So the animation for that would be the when Nao goes in for the attack and chops at Frieza's neck and he just takes it, that's the nullification or the animation for that. Um, Legends has it with the LF Frieza, so I figured they can do that for this one. And then I also gave the Frieza the ability to nullify enemy key-based super attacks directed at this character. Now that only applies after uh, Frieza launches his 18 key, because I, I kept I keep saying this, I wanted to be accurate. So because the supernova literally nullified Bardock's attack, I figured just give him that after the 18. Unlike um, Janimba or Tech Gogeta, where it's conditional with like a high chance, you know. Or well, Gogeta, it's, you do the 18 key and it's still only a chance, a high chance, I think, to do it. This Frieza just does it, so you, you know you'll be fine. And then he also has an additional attack and defense 30%. Attacks effective against all types and there's a pure Saiyan, pure Saiyan category enemy. So against Broly, you know, he's getting an extra 30% and a type advantage, super effective. Through the whole fight. So he's great against Broly because of that. And now this Frieza also, I gave him an active skill, plan to destroy the Saiyans, key plus 6 and attack plus 30%, and he gets a scout off for one charm. And this can be activated when there's a pure Saiyan category enemy, or from the third charm. That's it. That's all there is. And you can do it up to two times. Links, we got Universe's Most Malevolent, Big Bad Bosses, Strongest Clan in Space, Prodigies, Thirst for Conquest, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. 
categories. We got Wicked Bloodline, Fleets of Force, Space Traveling Warriors, Transformation Boost, Terrifying Conquerors, and Human Deeds, Get the Glories, and Planetary Destruction. Comp I love Bardock. He's my second favorite character in Dragon Ball. And I'm really... Honestly, I like the way I designed Frieza a bit more than Bardock. But that's also probably because I'm just imagining the animations and what they look like too. Like Frieza, his chaos, I did this. I want this Frieza so badly just for the chaos screen of him laughing as the planet blows up and all that. And he's like, look at these splendid fireworks and all that. That as a chaos screen would be amazing. But yeah, that's it for my design for Sandy Bardock in a part 2 LR Frieza. Um, tell, let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.